What is past all these solar systems and, and outer space, guys, girls, and girls, boys and girls? And Milky Ways and uh, beyonds and billions and trillions of stars in the sky. And, the, you know, what is beyond all these places in the solar system, the Milky Way and the galaxy? It's like a radio station, it's like a car. Will we see things past all these things, the galaxy and the solar systems? Of course we will. What are we going to see? For example, what will we see? Other alien forms in outer space fighting against each other in them different solar systems, going through all these um, time machines, solar systems, other galaxies, other planets have got time machines on there when you can travel into different areas, different planets, different solar systems, better on our Earth. The garden's great, everything's fantastic, it's like going to heaven, being out of space. You could get stuck in time or reverse time, but I'm just thinking of a video, you know what I mean? I'm, I think of many videos, guys and girls, those yet boys and girls, that I do all the time. I mean, there's got to be something more up there to beat sky that some people would say, what do you mean, why should there be? It's good to have imagination, this is how they make books, films and games that people like, and they get happy because they make the money and get it back off other people. Other people don't know how to make imagination, films, games and things, they don't have an imagination up here. But sometimes it makes people happy, the imaginations, and other times it makes them sad, depending on what the person is like. I mean, do they have their own TV shows in outer space, these aliens, and do they discover us human beings and probably think, what on earth are they doing on that earth? <clears throat> Compared to what we do in outer space, it's a bit strange what they're doing. You probably think the same about them UFOs up there. Why are they flying in our solar system and in our clouds and our airspace? They're just spying on us, but are we spying on them? It's like, uh, do we leave them alone or do they leave us alone? It's a hard answer, to answer isn't it? Or we'll talk about about these aliens and UFOs. Some people say they've seen them, some people just say they're in movies and films. But I don't know, I just thought I'd talk about a bit of outer space. Some of us have never been there, but there's obviously space stations. Will they eventually put people on Mars and the Moon in the future, 2030? Or um, 2050 or 40, 70? <laughs> <coughs> long before we're on the earth other people in the year 3000 may see other species up there on in in and out of mars on the earth other solar systems that are probably coming down to the earth in the day and going back up into space at the night to be like a giant motorway into earth and outer space going around the solar systems going around the galaxies going around um Milky Way and all the stars. I mean, some people say it's fictional. It could be. You never know with technology these days. The rich people may go to space. Well, us people on the Earth that are rich, we stay on the on the Earth. And it's all polluted, and the rich people go away and be rich and happy and uh, you know do other things, explore more places. Be a bit like Stargate, Star Trek, many other theories of the world, as you may not know. But it is what it is, you know. I got another DVD today as well, if you may know what it is. I've been watching Life on Mars, USA. Now, some people may have seen this, and some people may have not. I've watched Life on Mars, the rich version. This is only one season of the USA version. I think this guy here, as you can see in the suit, he's in another TV show called Some Dinosaur Thing, I think. But I've got a share with you. It's very interesting. It's a bit like L.A. Noir. Um... You may like this, you may not. This is uh, from the New York detective Sam Tyler. I mean, he's in the first one, Life of Mars, and the uh, British version. But this is the American version. So, if you like your time travel, and this guy's obviously in a coma. I don't like being in the coma films, but he goes to these different worlds and time travels, like Doctor Who and Doctor Strange. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying it. Some people may look at it differently and may not enjoy it. I've been watching the first series of this. This is guy in 2008. Um, he goes into a coma. It's quite a long series, the first one. It's got like obviously five discs set, all 17 episodes. See that? Uh, the British version had about five seasons, uh, roughly, with the woman and the uh, Sam Tyler. But this is just something different, you know, they don't make many good films these days, so most of the actors have left. They get new ones on and they're cheap and they don't know what they're doing, so some people do, some people don't. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Life of Mars. Oh, I could show you more of the box set, 
how it is. Give me a sec. Um, that's it, really. It's all right, isn't it? And uh, some you can buy this online if you're from America. I'm from the UK, obviously. Got like all these discs in here. See, the first disc is in the PS4. I don't know what this is about. I think this is 2006, this uh, film thing. I'm trying to open it up as you can tell. If other films you may not have seen before, you know. So we got the um, 24 was a good thing. Prison Break, obviously it's a show to pick another season, the unit. 24, it's about here. Bring it back to the memories. Um, Boston, whatever it is. That's some kind of box that I've never seen before. It's called. Cool. You've never seen that before, but yeah. Um, the the L World. I've never seen the L World before. Uh, got all the memories of things of these um, films. Another box set of the Atlantic. Strange. Oh, Stargate. Stargate Atlantic. Um, very good episode, time travelling, if you like time travel, Stargate Atlantic, uh, here as well. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, very good, and Angel was good as well, Angel there. you got uh, underneath uh, Colours of Magic, Simpsons, Bones, if you've seen that before, Lie to Me, uh, Cartoons, Family Guy, Simpsons, Dark Sides. And we've got some more in here, which, uh, you know, it's always good to go for a lot of things, isn't it? But I will be enjoying these and watching more of these later, obviously. After I've done the rest of these uh, videos. Two seconds. This is sort of a rough idea and a taster of what you want to buy. Some people may buy it, because I've shown it, you know. It's a good film, or TV series. Like I say, they need to make better TV series, don't they? Um, it's not the same as it used to be. But everyone's different, like I say. Everyone's not the same. Um, I'm trying to throw all these videos out there, which I'm doing pretty well of, of doing. I'm um, just uploading another video now about talk about something else. <laughs> trying to fill up the phone, I'm going to run out of memory at this point. That's just the way it is. Um, I will be deleting stuff off again, as I do, uh, as they say. Um, yeah, uh, I better leave it at that. Thank you for all joining me. Take it easy, peace.